what should Christians be doing during the midterm election cycle? What, Good question. What, what is your word for the church? I listened to Sebastian Gorka. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I love that guy. I, I do find, too. I gotta find out what he's doing. I love that guy too. I <laughs> get him on a show. Yeah, I, get him on a show. I want to be on the show. Okay, I will let you know. I, 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 I want yeah, him I'll, on the I'll show. I said that a All long right. time if ago. I, my if he comes, so you I, gotta listen, come. I listen to this guy, and here's what he said. He said, and he predicted something. He's very, very prophetic. He, he said Donald Trump. He's where I got the icebreaker idea. He said Donald Trump is an icebreaker. He is a wrecking ball. He's gone as an outsider into the political infrastructure and is breaking up the system. He said, here's the danger. An icebreaker that breaks, it, co it goes up and bobs in the water and slices down. And Donald Trump keeps on bam, 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 like that. Mm -hmm. The problem is, behind the vessel that's the icebreaker, they have to have other ships moving. Otherwise, the ice folds around the icebreaker and seals up. Mm -hmm. The midterms is going to be the undoing of the miracle of Trump's election, if we aren't careful. Wow. I'm prophesying a warning. It was Christians in their anxiety and concern for the future that were moved by the Holy Spirit 24 hours before the election, many who weren't even planning on voting, that went out and voted. And right now, the apathy, misdirection, and preoccupation of Christians in the midterms is the greatest danger to the future of America. Oh. If America goes down, it won't be the left. It won't be CNN. It'll be the negligence of the church. Whoa. Whoa. That's a huge So behind the icebreaker, the ice will seal. November, th this next election, seal, it's going to seal up behind Trump, or we are going to expand the breakup. And uh, so recently, as this, as this program is coming out, we will have already gone through a cycle of seven uh, special elections. Six out of seven were won by very close margins. They were won by people that are in alignment with Trump. It's you're going to be, Christians are going to be the deciding factor in what happens. And my concern is, Pastors, for the most part, don't want to get political because it's not right. good for business. Christian ministries, with the exception of somebody who's courageous like, uh, like, like Jim Baker right here, will not talk about these subjects. Trust me, I am not on their programs on purpose. Not that I don't have an audience. I've got hundreds of thousands of people on social media. You do. And then I'm looking at what's scary about that because they're shutting us down on that platform. Right. You have to know who is running in your state. Yes. And 50% of Christians aren't even registered to vote, and that's like allow. It's, you don't go to bed at night and not lock your door. But if you don't register to vote, you're unlocking your nation to what the devil wants to bring in. Man, that's powerful, Lance, and you're right on.